Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today's video, y'all, we are DIYing it. I am going to be showing you how to remove your old bathroom faucet and install a brand new bathroom faucet to give your bathroom a brand new look. And actually, I did this all by myself, y'all. I'm so, so excited by how everything turned out. So I can't wait to show you how I did it. I started with ordering the faucet actually from Amazon and I am going to leave the instructions and the link to this particular faucet right in my description box so you can go ahead and you can order yourself one if you choose to do it. It does come in a variety of colors. Everything that's actually in the box I'm going to be taking out and showing it to you. This of course is the faucet. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love the, the faucet. Also, this is the plastic mounting bracket. And this is actually the plug. It's a spring plug, which is the drain. I wasn't able to install the drain, y'all, because I wasn't able to remove the nut and bolt that's actually up underneath the sink. I just didn't have enough strength to do it. So we just bypassed that and kept moving. These are the two plastic mounting nuts. It's extremely imperative that all of the items that they say that you need on the back of the box, you do need those items. So make sure you have them what I'm going to do now is just show you the items that I picked up. It's not necessarily the same exact name. However, it's the items that we use. Those pliers right there, don't use those. <laughs> you need a wrench and you're going to see later on that I did use that. Some of the items that I'm showing you, I didn't necessarily record it because for some reason I was having trouble with getting a lot of angles. So that's why you didn't see that. But here we're actually turning the water off. Before you start any project that's dealing with water, make sure that the water is turned off. Also, you wanna put a pail or a bucket, something there to catch the water because some water is definitely gonna come out when you start removing things. The one that you see me removing right here is actually plastic, so it doesn't take a lot of power to remove it so you don't need a wrench or anything just use the strength just put some elbow grease into it and go ahead and remove it and if you're enjoying the video so far please don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up because remember if you want to see more diy projects like this one we have to push this video y'all now this is where i would actually be removing all of this so i can go ahead and get that drain stopper removed and the new one placed in so because I wasn't able to do that, I did go ahead and clean it because you can tell it was pretty filthy. So I did go ahead and clean it out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the bolts from the sink, which, which is actually the water. It's the hot and the cold side of the water. So those you saw on the box, but you can see that we already have those. So we didn't have to buy a new set. You start by using a wrench just to untighten it. And then you can just use your hands to go ahead and completely screw it off. Now I do apologize for my hands being right in front of the camera, but I am removing the stopper, which is the drain stopper. It's one of those old ones that you push down and pull up. Mm. However, this one doesn't have that one. This is just a pop-up stopper, but because I wasn't able to install it, I'm gonna have to put it back on, but the piece that's belonging to the faucet is going to be removed. And this is the little ball that I pulled out, which helps control the spring so that it can go up and down. But look at that. It has hair on it, y'all. I'm sorry if that grossed anybody out, but I just wanted to show you this is real life over here, y'all. Y'all know I try to show you everything. So I had to go ahead and loosen up the nuts. And actually, this is the part that's holding the faucet down. So I'm going to go ahead and continue screwing those out with my fingers. Yeah. 
And now that we have everything screwed from the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the old faucet. And you see all of that dirt and grind and whatever it is, <laughs> make sure you have your cleaning products ready because you wanna definitely give that a very good cleaning before you put your new faucet in. And if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello, my name is Taryn. And on my channel, you're going to find motivational cleaning, laundry motivation, home decor, declutter and organization, also DIY rental friendly projects. So if any of this interests you, I do hope that you will go ahead and click that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you. Also follow me over on Instagram, getting my life together 50. I would love to have you there as well. To all my returning subscribers and all of my subscribers that show up for me each and every week, y'all know I love y'all to the moon and back. I know this is a different video for y'all. However, I do hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that I've inspired you and motivated you that if there's anything that you feel that you want to do to your home, you can do it. All you have to do is watch you a couple of videos on YouTube. Make sure you follow the instructions and you can do things yourself. I did it and everything turned out nice. Let me know down in the comment section how you like it. And I'll be sure to leave a link of my last DIY project. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Bye, y'all.